it never fails. How are y'all? That when it's time for me to go live and I plan to go live, something happens where I'm running a minute or two late and I apologize for that. But this is Ryan Jenkins again coming to you with the JBC, the Jinx Book Club book reviews. I'm going to do something that might be a little bit inconvenient for you tonight. Um, I am going to... Once I do one book review, I'm going to end the video. And then once I start a new one, I'm going to start a new video. Um, the reason why I'm doing that because I want to be able to upload, up, upload them as separate videos. Um, that way it can get the attention of the author, hopefully online, and it will see what I have to say. Also, um, IG video has been tripping with me lately. I don't know if it's because my videos are too long or what's going on. So I'm going to try to end them as quickly as possible so that... I can because you can't upload videos on IG if they're longer than 15 minutes. Well, I have three books I want to talk to you about, and one of them involves a poem, and I'm trying to find the poem first before I start talking about the book, but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the other book. Um, the first book I'm gonna talk about is actually was in my library. I don't know if it's still there now, um, but I started reading it maybe two or three years ago and for some reason decided you know what I'm not feeling this so I decided to pick it up again because it is a very short read this is called Jump by Rita Williams Garcia um I'm proud shout out to my Mrs. Cynthia Johnson who's our media specialist this is I think my fourth book for the summer that I finished um so I'm looking forward to the other books I'm going to read the rest of the summer. So I may be able to finish that 10 book challenge like the students. Um, but this book, I'm trying to go through it to see um, how many pages. It's 168. That's a really easy read. You, Some of you can knock that out in like a day. Good. Summer's here. You're not really doing anything. But anyway, I digress. But pretty much it goes through the main characters of Trina, Dominique, and Letitia. And I hope that I'm saying their names right. Um, so you have Trina, who's very happy-go-lucky, loves life an awesome art student matter of fact i, I want to say she wasn't doing well in school she transfers to this new school and she feels like she has friends she has a sass about her and she's skipping through the hallway and accidentally bumps dominique okay dominique um plays basketball um i want to say trina even referred to her as a girl boy because she says she can be very masculine. Um, but Dominique loves to play basketball. But Dominique definitely has some anger issues. And then you have Letitia who witnesses when she bumps, when Trina bumps into Dominique, she doesn't realize she bumps into Dominique or she cut Dominique off. And she's just skipping down the hallway because she's so excited about her art exhibit for Black History Month and her contribute, contributions to this art exhibit. Dominique is offended and is like pointing to her, I'm going to get this B and I'm going to kick her behind at 245. Letitia witnesses this all. And what's so, what's so crazy is Letitia's sister, Bia, says, well, did you tell Trina what Dominique said? And Letitia doesn't feel like it's her place. To even go to Trina and say anything to her. Because she's like, she's not my friend. Who am I to say that Dominique is going to kick your behind at 245? And um, when I read the full, the notes from the author, Rita Williams Garcia, she's looking at girl violence. And, and I'm thinking about violence, period. Especially within our culture. Especially among our young people. And how we have fights and altercations all because someone didn't just say calmly this was my issue or do you know this is about to transpire the whole crazy thing about the book and what it does is it goes through the course of a day through all three of these people's perspectives and you as you go through the book you realize Trina has no clue what is about to go down at 245 
Letitia knows. And not only is Letitia going through her day and her sister is challenging her, you need to go talk to Trina and talk to her about this. Letitia battles in her mind. Should I say something? Should I not say something? It's not really my business. Who am I to go up there and tell her? Dominique is you know, going through her day. And, and that's where you see the anger and you see the buildup and you see she has emotional issues that she really feels like she's entitled to kick Trina's behind. I, of course, with reason, the rationale is like, you had no reason to, you know, to even think this is okay. But no one told Trina, I mean, told Dominique that. So again, it's told in the perspective of Trina the one who has been told behind her back and she has no clue. And what's so crazy is, this is what I call situational irony. We all know that Trina's about to get her behind kick. Trina doesn't know. Okay. Um, Trina even admits she would never fight Dominique because she knows that she would not win that battle. Um, matter of fact, she thinks all these people are cool with her and kind of find out they're talking about her back talking behind her back and talking about how she's going to get beat up. And that's the crazy thing. Um, so, but you have Letitia who witnessed this is all, but she doesn't say anything. And the, and the question is, is she going to say something? Because her, her sister keeps blowing up her phone and texting her and telling her, you need to say something to Trina. And she battles with that the whole book. Dominique ain't battling. Dominique is determined at 245. I'm going in that behind. Trina is having a happy-go-lucky day. She's finally happy. Her artwork is up in the art, the exhibit. Um, is even to the point she can't even focus and function in class at times because she's so happy about her artwork and she's so happy about life. And she's, um, they talk about her shape and her outfit and how, you know, she's light-skinned. And I want to say, um... I wonder if some colorism is factor into why Dominique felt the way she did and why Letitia felt the way she did. Um, it did come out that Letitia was um, a plus size girl. Um, Letitia is very spoiled, what bothered me. Like at one point she's in PE and she breaks a nail. This chick goes to the assistant principal and says, I need to file a, a lawsuit because y'all need to do something to fix my nail. Y'all need to repair it. Y'all need to give me the money to fix it. Are you serious? Like she has a, an entitlement, um, an entitlement about her because at the beginning of the book, it starts off with the fact that she has to go to early bird um, to do a class that she failed um, last semester. Um, she's mad that she's not able to go to summer school and take this course. She has to wake up early to not take this course so she won't fail the grade and she's very upset about that. And it's just like, you knew you failed the course, but because my mom didn't follow through, no, you knew what you had to do when she claimed she didn't know, whatever. And you just have the Dominique who literally says, I don't get anyone's way, but if you get in my way, but the way she defines her way, you realize mentally something right by Dominique, let's be real. And then you have Trina, who's just high on life, and she's very beautiful, and she really thinks that everyone else thinks she's very beautiful, and people worship the ground that she walks on. She thinks a little bit much of herself, but at the same time, I don't think she's conceited. So it's, it's pretty dope. It's a pretty dope read. So that's Jump by Rita Williams Garcia. I highly recommend it. There's a language here and there. Um... And there's probably one scene. And the reason why I say that people like Ryan, you know, all about censorship, you know, you should be able to read whatever you want to read. I just, I have middle school students and I have former high school students who follow me. And I just feel a need to let parents know this is what you're going to come across with the content. But again, it's an easy read. And what I'm going to do, like I said before, I am going to end this video, but I'm coming right back on to tell you about the next book that I read. But Happy reading.